Hey, Tara Cherie here. It's really good to be here with you today. And uh, I just want to welcome you if you, this is the first time that you are joining me here on Facebook Live. I just want to welcome you here. If you're returning, uh, I, it's really good to have you here. And I just want to jump and dive into things today. And today I want to talk about fasting, but more specifically, I want to talk about intermittent fasting. Um, and people have been asking me, well, what's intermittent fasting? And, you know, what does that look like? And what does that mean? And what are the benefits to that? And so I just wanted to share a few. I did a little bit of homework and some research. Now, um, as we covered last week, we talked about detoxing the body and the importance of that because the myth is that, um, you know, people detox to lose weight. Well, some people like myself do detox to lose weight um, just simply because, you know, I just had my third child and there are a lot of people that just want to lose some weight, get healthier, those kinds of things. Or maybe they're being required to by their doctor or maybe they just want to be a healthier version of them and that's awesome. You know, um, and I definitely encourage that and recommend that, of course. But really, uh, detoxing has other benefits besides just losing weight and that includes actually returning the body to an alkaline state, which brings about homeostasis, which, you know, your body can't be fighting a disease or have a disease and be in homeostasis and be have alkalinity, meaning pH balance in the body all at the same time. Okay, so uh, returning the body to homeostasis means that nothing can come up of the body, right? You know, and I'm not a medical expert, but I'm just a mom of children who's really passionate about serving other people in terms of seeing them transform. Nothing makes me happier than people having perfect health and having a better quality of life overall and getting their life back for so many different reasons and purposes, right? Because when we have our quality of life, I mean, our health is everything. You can't put a price on that, right? And so... Uh, that definitely makes me passionate about being in the health industry and dealing with nutrition on a daily basis, right? And helping serve people in this way. Um, but the other benefit to, the, to it is that it actually resets your metabolism. Okay, so if you're having issues with your lymphatic system or you're dealing with, you know, all sorts of things which we'll go into I um, definitely encourage you because you don't want to mess with the lymphatic system and you want your body to be running properly, okay? It's like driving a car and not dealing with the sludge that's in your engine. It's going to cause your engine to perform slower and then eventually you're going to have issues with that engine and you're not going to be able to get to where you need to go. Well, it's the same thing with your body, right? You don't want sludge in it. You want to take care of it. You want to return it back to its ultimate state, right? And so um, these are the reasons why detoxing so it's not just about weight loss it's about returning your body and repairing it to its former state but with our detox um, and the company that I work with and I'm, I'm sure there are other companies out there that deal with this too um, there's also another component to detoxing and it's called intermittent fasting and intermittent fasting you know you could eat you can research it and read it. In fact, you can Google it. I mean, there's books out there. There's experts you can contact and ask. And I encourage you to do all that, especially if you're really interested in intermittent fasting. Check with your doctor to make sure that it's okay. Um, but with intermittent fasting, you can either eat a certain amount of calories within a certain amount of time and then fast or you can, you know, daily fast in between eating, which is something that... I actually do, um, and I've been doing with the detox that I've been on, and people have been asking, hey, Don, it's nice to have you here. You know, people have been asking, um, you know, what what is that fasting that you're doing? What's this plan that you're doing? And, um, oh, thank you so much, Don. It's so awesome um, that you said that, and I appreciate and receive that. She's liking my lip color today. I like this lip color, too. It's fun. Um, but, yeah, people were like, how are you getting your results, and what are you doing? And, um, and so... Part of detoxing has been my intermittent fasting. And so um, what I love about our plan, and I don't know about other plans, is that they actually have it so that it's all mapped out and you just, um, you don't have to think about it, which is nice. And you can eat at certain times and then, you know, overnight while you're sleeping, you're, you're basically fasting. So from the last moment that you've eaten, 
you know, you add, with us, you add about 12 hours to that and then you eat again. But if you think about that, that's like eating dinner and then just not eating anything after and then the next morning you're having breakfast again, right? So it's no big deal. You're just not doing basically any late night snacking. That's all it really is, right? So you can have liquids and there's, you know, there's a few things that you can have. And so um, liquids is the big thing. You can have as much liquids or broth tea, uh, herbal tea as you want. So it's really nice in that way. And it's good because late night eating isn't good for you anyway. But getting back to the point, so this is what intermittent fasting actually does for the body. Now that I've explained uh, why intermittent fasting and adding it to detoxing, okay, it's going to cause the calories that you do take in your body to be burned, okay, so that you're losing weight. But what it can also do, you can always up your calories if you don't need to lose the weight, but you want to maintenance the body and you want to detox the body of the toxins. You want to rid it of the waste that's in your body because over time what happens is that protein waste builds in the cells, okay? And your body is supposed to, like I mentioned last week, it's supposed to naturally detox, but it doesn't always naturally detox, right? And so you need monthly to rid and have a way of ridding those toxins out of your body and getting rid of that protein waste that's in the cells. So it's not just about losing weight. It's about getting rid of actual waste that has built up in your body. And most people don't necessarily understand that that's a component. Um, but what Intermittent fasting also does. Hey, Terry, it's nice to have you. Um, what intermittent fasting actually also does is it increases cognitive function. So a lot of us get busy. We have busy lives. And so what it does is it allows our body to perform not just under stress, but also oxidative stress that comes from the environment and whatnot because we live in a busy society and most of us face people on a daily basis or at least a weekly basis. And so we need a way to deal with these stressors and these triggers. So what it actually does is causes you, your mind to basically get a rest and a reset so that you're able to perform more and be more productive. But it gives you that clarity. It gets you out of that state of mental fog. Uh, it allows your your brain basically to reset so that that way when you're functioning, you're functioning and performing at your maximum because nothing is worse than having the glass only halfway full, right? So you want to make sure that you have a full glass and that you're operating under full capacity. Why? Because you're serving people on a daily basis. There's people that you're called to help in your life and there's a calling and a purpose for your life. So why not, you know, operate optimally, right? Because I also noticed that it helps in other areas too of cognitive function, such as emotions, and also for me anyway, I don't know about you, but spiritually, it also helps too because I'm I'm hearing more clearly, you know, in my prayer time, I have more clarity on my day. I know where to go from moment to moment. I know how to listen better. I know how to process things around me much more efficiently, right? So that causes my reactionary time to be shorter and I'm able to get things done and not just be busy, but actually being productive and um, you know, when it's time for me to rest and have that balance, I'm able to stay all in and be all in because some of us are like, yeah, I'm going to spend time with my family, but then your mind is still racing and you're thinking of all those things that you still have to get done instead of just actually being in the moment and just really enjoying it. So it causes you to be able to relax. So when you're, um, balanced, you're all in, you know, whether that's you're having alone time, you're with your family, you're enjoying that moment. You're able to have an overall sense of just overall balance, you know, and emotionally, you know, when you have less stress, you're not so emotional, right? So you're able to enjoy the moment so much more. You're able to live in that moment and you're able just to relax and let things go. And it, it decreases those racing thoughts and allows you to be present 
and attentive to what's in front of you or what you're doing in that given moment. So it's a huge benefit in both ways, whether you're resting or whether you're trying to get things done, right? Um, it also helps lower the risk for diabetes. So if you're fighting issues with your insulin or you're fighting issues with the leptin in your blood or you're fighting um, issues with blood pressure or blood sugar, it actually will over time decrease that because the food that you're inputting is being expelled. Your body has a lengthier time to be able to process the calories that you did take in. So you're actually able to break uh, not just the calories down, but your body's able to go in and that's how it's able to empty out those cells because if you have too many cells growing, that can, it doesn't always, but it can create cancer and it can create additional waste. So your body needs time to break those things down. It's saying, hey, wait a minute, I need to take care of my body. I need to decrease those calories. I need to um, fight those things that are in my body and I need to I need time to repair myself, um, not just from a DNA perspective, but also from a cellular perspective, right? Because the body can heal itself with the food that it eats, but it also needs time to be able to do those things. So intermittent fasting allows you to be able to um, just overnight allow your body to fully repair, but it's just a matter of making that decision. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna eat after a certain hour because I want my body to begin repairing itself. I want it to be able to heal. I want it to be able to process the things that I have eaten. And if there is an issue and there is a toxin or there is something that's blocking me from being able to release those toxins, body, I want you to heal yourself. So it's saying to you, hey, I need this time to repair myself so that that way I can heal and I can have that breakthrough that I need. And if you're not eating as many calories, you're actually fasting, it, it actually allows the, the body to be able to do that. So then your body be, begins to go into that function, oh, okay, I'm supposed to release these toxins, this protein waste, this junk in my system that doesn't belong there, that's causing other issues. Now I can go in and clean out the sludge, basically, just like the engine in the car, and I can repair my body now, and I can fully function the way that, uh, the, way that the Lord intended my body to function right? You know, it's kind of like um, taking a body that's been hurt or wounded and just restoring its full function, essentially. So it's really cool how that works out. It also causes the body to reduce its inflammation, right? Because um, that also deals with like oxidative stress, because if you're more stressed, what happens is that your cortisol levels actually go up. So it creates more inflammation in the body and your body can't fight infection. It can't fight off, you know, allergies or even colds or uh, these kinds of things that happen with the body, right? And so um, inflammation can do a whole lot of nasty things, right? And so um, you want it to be able to take care of that. And by having less stress, it also decreases the level of inflammation that's flowing through your body, right? So if you notice your body is kind of swelling in certain areas, whether your hands, your arms, your legs, you know, whatever that looks like, it's because um, it's dealing with stress and you're like, well, I'm not stressed. Well, you have oxidative stress. Sorry about that. Uh, I had a call coming in. So um, you're dealing with a process of oxidative stress in the body. And so you want to, um, and it's coming from the environment, right? You may not even be stressed. You may be happy as can be, but you're dealing with your environment. And those chemicals and things that you're breathing in your environment when you're walking down the street, you're getting out of your car, you're going into an appointment, it builds in your body. It penetrates the skin. The skin is a living organism. Hey, Angelina, nice to have you. Yeah, hi. It's good to have you here. I uh, would love to have you stay if you can, but if not, um, certainly feel free to go back and watch the replay because this is really good, actually. Um, but yeah, so your, your, your skin is a living organism. It's taking in all of those chemicals, every all that junk that's in the environment, right? So you also have to release the things that are in the environment out of your body. You have to expel them somehow.
So that's what detoxing and intermittent fasting combined also does for the body, right? So you're getting rid of not just the things that you've eaten, but the things that you've taken in, you've, that you've breathed in, that have absorbed into the skin. So you're dealing with that as well. Um, it does stimulate, like I mentioned before, the DNA and cellular repair. So that's allowing, that's where the protein is expelling out of the body. So the buildup over time, because our bodies cannot process, um, certain nutrients and things that we are taking into the body. Yeah, you bet, Angelina. It's really good to have you here. Um, yeah, definitely feel free to comment or join in, or if you have questions, feel free to ask. I'm actually going to post uh, my contact information, you guys, at the end of this video, so I definitely want you um, to be able to ask me anything that you want, or if you want to learn more um, about what it is that I've been doing and how I've been helping some other people, uh, most definitely, absolutely. I will post that so that you can be in touch with me or if you have my direct information, you know how to reach out to me and I definitely encourage it because I want to help you guys get this and I really want to help you understand it or if there's something new, maybe you kind of already know about it, but maybe you heard something today and it was like new for you and you want to process it or just connect because I love talking about health. I would definitely love to connect with you either way. So yeah, absolutely. Um, but yeah, the body is not designed to break down proteins in the body. Body even you know um, that's why it's really important um, and I always encourage you know it's okay to have meat I'm not against eating meat but your body can't break it down so it's another reason for fasting it needs more time to break that meat down because sometimes that meat will just sit in the body and it doesn't absorb okay um, there are other foods that your body doesn't necessarily absorb and it creates waste and sometimes if um, if we're not taking in enough liquids and things like that, or um, the liquids just don't always fully cleanse it out all the way, okay, intermittent fasting will get the rest of that, that waste that's built up. So uh, it's not just protein waste, it's other types of waste that are in the body that need to be expelled. So the combination of detoxing and intermittent fasting will also take care of that as well. Um, Let's see, we've talked about a lot of different things. Um, and it also allows for a balance of calories because you don't want too many calories, otherwise you're gonna be gaining weight instead of releasing weight, or your body's just not gonna be able to handle the amount of food that it's putting in the body, and that also causes the buildup of the waste. So um, we talked about that. Um, and it's not just about losing weight, it's also about losing body fat. So if you have extra fat, because there's like deep, there's like fat that just builds on the body, but there's also like deep fat inside of the body um, that needs to be expelled because if not, then that can also create waste inside of the body and it can also create other health issues in the body um, such as cancer, such as, you know, heart issues. And that's something that intermittent fasting also helps with uh, is the reduction of potential for heart issues and cancer as well because when you're repairing your cells on a cellular level then that leaves room for your body to completely heal itself and to restore its function like we've talked about right and if it has the ability to do that then it has the ability to fight off other infections that can build or be kind of a byproduct of cancer or of heart issues right and so um because what it's doing is it um it actually will lower, uh, actually increase human growth hormone, but it's also allowing your body to gain muscle and burn fat at the same time because the added weight um, can actually cause heart issues, right? So you want to be able to rid your body of any weight, take the pressure off of the knees because for every pound that you lose, you actually it's like losing two pounds on your knees. So just think about how relieved your body would be instead of being so weighted down all the time, right? And so that's another huge reason to take care of your body in this way. Um, and when your body is actually not just losing weight, but it's burning fat, it's also increasing your energy, which also helps with your cognitive function. It helps with um, fighting off disease, but it also helps with your cognitive function because you have the energy to think things through much more clearly with accuracy. And so it's kind of like, um, I like to think of it as um, kind of a circular motion. 
Um, what's your question? You, Terry, you asked, can you define intermittent fasting and how you weekly, monthly apply it? Yeah, I actually covered that in the beginning. You kind of came in, um, right as I, you know, um, had just passed that and got into the benefits of the fast, intermittent fasting itself. Um, but yeah, so basically, um, intermittent fasting, so it's like where you take in a certain number of calories in a given day, and you can either, um, do it in a short amount of period and then fast, or you can kind of fast throughout. Um, I actually like intermittent fasting daily. So what I do, um, is, uh, that's awesome, Courtney. Um, what I actually do is I, uh, for me personally, now this is just my personal experience with it. You can actually look it up and study it more in depth, Terry, or you and I can connect. What I'll do is I'll message you personally and we could talk about it further. Um, but cause I want, I want you to be able to understand it and break it down. Um, but intermittent fasting, what I do with it is I'll eat a certain number of calories and take in a certain number of liquids throughout my day. Right. And then what I do for me, just to keep it nice and simple, because I don't really want to complicate it at all, because it's really, it, it's not that complicated. Um, so what I do is I say, okay, I'm done eating. It's now 5 or 6 p.m. Okay, and then I just stop eating for the rest of the night. Okay, now I'll take in liquids, like I'll take in herbal tea, I'll take in water, um... I personally like making broth that I can keep on the side. I got a great easy broth recipe that I can send to. And I could take in as much of that as I want, right? And then um, I'll just keep consuming that, which will continue to allow for expelling the waste out of my body and all the things that we've talked about so far. And it just helps the body to relax and rest more because there's not so much junk in the body, right? So I'm able to rest. I'm able to calm down for the night and get a really restful, productive sleep. It also does promote that as well. And so what I'll do is I just won't eat like the rest of the night because snacking is so bad for the body anyway. And it adds calories and keeps the body from cellular repair and so many other things, right? And so I just don't eat the rest of my night, right? And then at breakfast time the next day, I'll wake up and then you know let's say that I stopped eating at like five or six o'clock um and then no sure no problem you you got it yeah definitely listen to the replay Terry um I'll wake up the next morning so say I stopped eating at five or six I'll pick back up the next morning at say like five or six in the morning and then you know I maybe I'm feeding my little one at that point right but as soon as I can within that period okay I'll wake up that next morning and then I'll begin um, consuming liquids again I'll start with that I'll start with my regimen and then you know I'll eat or do whatever I need to do right throughout my day and then I'll just keep doing that each and every day okay for as long as I'm actually detoxing now um, I'm in a 28 day detox. You know, you guys have been asking me, well, how am I getting those results and, you know, slimming down those inches and how, you know, but for me, it's much more than the weight loss and the losing belly fat. For me, it's, um, it's about, you know, I'll be real honest, you know, my, my mother died of, you know, uh, heart complications very unexpectedly a couple years ago. And my dad had to have a quadruple bypass and it really motivated me to help people in these areas, but more importantly, to get my own health on track because if I didn't have my own health, then I couldn't really serve other people the way that I was called to serve. And the Lord really laid on my heart to serve people with their health. And so I had to get healthy and make that decision. And it really motivated me. And I just started making little tweaks, but then I found out about really detoxing the body and how important it was to do on a monthly basis. And you know, it made me passionate about beginning the detox process. So I'm just sharing my own experiences of detoxing so far and intermittent fasting and, you know, uh, what I do happens to combine both. And so it's made me really passionate about just, you know, I see the benefits from it and I see how I'm lowering so my risks for so many different things, both heart issues and cancer run in my families. And, you know, I want to be here long haul for my kids. I want to be here um, long haul with my husband. You know, I want to be able to create those memories. Um, I want to be able to, you know, do so many other things, right? You know, um, there's such a huge call in my life to be able to serve and help people. And I want to be able to help 
as many people as possible, right? You know, so I have to have the energy and the stamina. I have to have the cognitive function to be able to do that. You know, I've got to have the energy to be able to do that. I've got to have the rest of the sleep to be able to do those things. So it just makes sense to intermittent fast because it just adds to the overall quality of your day. And then you're so much healthier. You're in a position where your body is healing itself. You don't have to have so many medications. You don't have to deal with, you know, um, so many hospital visits, I hope. You know, you're not having to deal with so many medical bills down the line. There's so many reasons to do it. You know, it's great that you want to use a product or that you um, are passionate about, you know, something that you take. That's awesome. I'm just saying that you can still do that and you can add um, detoxing and inter intermittent fasting to that and you're taking care of your body fully. I mean, you want to be able to flood it with nutrition. You want to be able to properly take care of it. You want it to run efficiently. You know, you wouldn't drive a car that's junk that you didn't take care of the engine and you didn't get the sludge out and you didn't maintenance your vehicle. So you should want to, in the same way that you're maintenancing your vehicle, for example, you know, or, you know, you don't want to live in a messy house that hasn't been cleaned and hasn't been taken care of. Well, you want to do the same thing with your body because you get one potty. You don't get a redo, right? You can get another vehicle, but you know what? You can't get your health back. You can't have another body back, you know, so it's important to maintenance it and to really take care of it, you know, and to do these things. It's kind of like what I would say about detoxing, intermittent fasting is it's kind of like just maintenancing your body and taking it through a healing process and just really taking care of it so that you have it for the long haul since you only get one shot at it you know you're you may get another opportunity again right you know you may go through something and then you know um go into remission or you know completely heal from it or you know whatever but you really want to maintenance it. You really want to keep it at an alkaline state. You really want to bring it back to homeostasis so that that way you're not dealing with issues long term. You know, it's it's not just about the overall quality of your life, but it's also about the overall health factors. How healthy is your body really? And just because you're thin or you look good does not necessarily mean that you're healthy by any stretch of the means, okay? You got to do the things to maintenance and take care of your body. And if you want to learn how to be able to do that or you want to know more about why detoxing or why even intermittent fasting, gosh, you know what? I just want to connect with you. <laughs> you know, I can go into it so much more, but I really want to keep the video to a certain length because otherwise people are going to be like, gosh, this video goes on forever. And I want to keep some elements there that, you know, you and I can discuss personally. Um, yeah, let's let's connect. Message me or, um, you know what, even post your questions here at the bottom of the video. Let's make this interactive because the more questions that you ask or the more that you ask about it, the more it may actually be helping somebody that may not necessarily have the ability to watch all the video or any part of the video. Um, and you just really never know truly who you're going to be helping and who you're going to be benefiting by doing this. And so please share in the comment section so that we can help one another. I'm not about holding back all the secrets, you know, um, and I'm still learning very much so myself, you know, I hope that I continue to learn about my body the rest of my life and how to best serve it so that I can help other people. And I'm all about helping you. And I really want to be able to do that. And I am passionate about it. So if you're just now jumping on the line, I definitely encourage you, please go back and watch the replay to this because I want to be able to serve you in the best way I know how. Feel free to share this video um, if it's going to benefit somebody that you love, that you care about, please share it. Um, or if you want to connect with me personally because you don't want to talk about it in the comment section of this video, that's fine too. I definitely encourage you, let's connect personally because I want to share with you more about my experiences with detoxing, with intermittent fasting and how it benefits and um, you know, any way that I can encourage you or help you out, I'm here to serve you truly. So I'll leave my information in the comment section below so that you can reach out to me directly. It's been a pleasure in having you here today. Thank you so much for watching. So many of you were watching or posting comments and, um, 
gosh, it's great. I, I love people that are passionate about their health as much as I am. So it's really cool. And I, I love the support too. And I hope that I can support you in some way truly. And I'm really genuine about that too. So um, please let me know how I can serve you or how I can be there for you. Like I said, I'll leave my information in the comment section. We will be meeting here again Thursday between 12.50 p.m. and 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It was really good to be here with you. I look forward to seeing you then. Have a great rest of your day and bye for now.